Okay, but it was something that I'm going to be SNL Academy. Today, I just want to dive in on dividend. Ne? There's something they call if you are an investor investing in the stock market, so that is a money, not a dividend. Ne? So, uh, a basic uh, explanation of our dividend is just basically a sum of money that is paid regularly by a company, and this money is paid to the investors ne? so it's basically the money that, that they pay from the company's profit ne? so now guys as a beginner investor like i always tell you seeing as i'm a beginner investors and also we want people who are also beginners investors to come and join us on the channel so we can grow together ne? so now a very important point about our dividends ne? But if dividends are paid quarterly, annually, and sometimes you'll get a few of dividends that are paid on a monthly basis. Ne? And then another very important thing about our dividend, ne? they say a high dividend could actually be an indication that the investors are selling their shares. So this could be also an indication and also they say if your dividends are more than four percent or even above ten percent that is actually considered as a high dividend so now you need to be careful on those companies that are paying a lot of dividend because with april we know april it's a big company with more than two trillion us dollars of market capitalization they have a product that people will die for they have a product that people love they have a product that people are buying every year so if there's a new iphone you know the iphone lovers they will go out there and make sure that they get a new iphone ne? so now with them their current dividend is 0.55 percent that is what they are paying so that is a company that is well run that is a company that is doing well ne? On the last point, they say a drop in share price may show higher dividend yield. Meaning if the share price goes down, they can give you a higher dividend. But very important, this may indicate that a company is having problems. So in the long term, it won't be possible for them to continue maintaining that higher dividend so guys as a beginner investor mind you this is not financial advice if you have a lump sum that is lying around or you just retired from work or you just have some cash that came out after resigning after working for a company for some years and then Maybe you're just thinking on weighing your option as to where you can put this money so it can grow. Uh, you can put that money and try and see what, how much can you make or how much can you accumulate being a dividend uh, stockholder or shareholder. Right? Dividends, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. It's one of the great things that can happen to a person if you are investing in the stock market. Right? So now, because what is happening is you are getting paid just for being a shareholder of a company. So for, for just holding those shares, so they are paying you in return. So it's a great thing because it's basically more like passive income, whereby you are not doing anything, but you're just getting money. It's not like you're going to work Monday to Friday, or it's not like you are running a business, whereby you have to be present, pushing your hustle and making that cash in it. So you're just sitting, but just by being a shareholder, they are paying you for that. Ne? And also, very important, remember as beginner investor, we're trying to create a mindset, we're trying to build a mindset. And that mindset is be patient, be consistent. So now I had this friend who asked me, okay, so if I'm investing in the stock market, how much money am I getting? Am I going to get on a monthly basis? So you see that person doesn't invest even the concept of investing. If they still think investing is more like a salary, whereby you have to work and every month you must get a salary. Ne? So now because we want to build this mindset, it's very important 
to continue investing with an aim of seeing our fruit later, not now. So now if you are investing in dividend paying stock, I don't think it's wise for you if you are a beginner investor because it's going to create that mindset for you that you need to get money on a regular basis. And then you'll end up jumping into companies that are actually not doing well, that might be even going for bankruptcy. And then when, because you are looking at the dividend stock or the dividend yield, then you won't consider checking the, pay, the, the company's background. How is the company doing? How long has the company been around? What products is this company selling? And then, hence, that's why I'm saying Apple is a great example. It's a big company doing very well, but they are paying 0.55%. That was the rate when I last checked. So now, when I, if you are jumping to companies paying you 15%, 10%, 20% of dividend, you need to ask yourself, how long can this company continue paying you so much of dividend? Otherwise, but it, I hope you find the information today that we are sharing useful and informative. Please do engage us on the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel, like and also share our videos to people that you think they might be interested in such information. Niazi Bafiltu at SNL Academy will always tell you and invest and spend. There's a reason why you have to spend your money after you invested down.